uh, an example of flagrant plagiarism. I'm going to steal some information um, that was presented by Peter Grieg at a uh, remote balloon conference in 2015. I've put his link below, so hopefully uh, recognizing the guy will be worthwhile. What I want to do is, is um, his demonstration described SDR radio in the best way I've ever seen anybody do. Uh, so many of the um, explanation videos stray into the area of imaginary numbers. Now, I struggle enough with real numbers, so by the time we start to talk about imaginary, I uh, have my mind blown. So I'm going to, uh, I, I basically paused the video many times, went back over it several times, and worked out how he put his model together. So we're going to use a program called GNU Radio, which is a free program. I'll put a link below to where you can get that as well, which simulates um, real components in an SDR radio. I'm not going to use RF frequencies because uh, the computer can't deal with those. It's part of the whole reason we need to have SDR radios is to shift everything down to a usable uh, frequency. So let's begin. We're going to start with a signal source. Now the first signal source is going to represent the radio signal coming in from the antenna. So we double click on this. Uh, we change it from a complex number, that's one that does include imaginary components, to a floating number. We're going to have a frequency that's variable because this is going to be looking at, as we tune around the band, this is going to be changing. So we're going to call this a variable of freak. Uh, and I don't think there's anything else I have to change there. Uh, cosine, I'm happy with that. Now, uh, what we want to do is put a uh, an ability to change that because at the moment you can see the red. This is indicating that um, there's some errors here because it doesn't know what freak is for a start. So we're going to put a uh, slider, uh, a range slider. So. We're going to have uh, a range of frequencies, as we've said, but we're going to call it that variable of freak. So it will control the frequency simulating the radio signal coming in from our antenna. Uh, we're going to start with the default value of 1100 hertz, 1.1 kilohertz. We'll start at 900 hertz and we'll move to 1100. Uh, counter and slider, I think there's nothing else I have to add there. No, I think I'm happy with that. Uh, so it's just going to move up here. Now we've still got an issue because it's still red, so let's just have a look. Freak 1191. Okay, I think we're okay. I think it may just be we haven't got it connected to here as yet. Um, so this is our signal coming in on the antenna. Um, I think the thing that my father taught me first of all about radio uh, when I was very young was that if you add together two signals, the resultant will be the sum and the difference of those signals. So if you have a signal of 4.81 megahertz and then you have a um, another input of 4.81 uh, 8 zero megahertz will effectively have a thousand hertz output plus a uh, uh, what nine point something or other uh, high frequency. So we're going to do a multiply block. So we'll search for that multiply because a mu multiply is just another name for the mixer. So we're going to change that again to a floating number. Uh, nothing there needs changing. I think we're all good there. Two inputs on the mixer. And we'll draw an output from our radio signal coming in on the antenna uh, going into the mixer. Now, as you know, I'm sure, we have a local oscillator that we need to add now. And the local oscillator is going to mix with the um, radio signal and produce a new signal that we can work with. So we'll put, no, not a multiplier block at all. We want a signal source again. So we're going to add a signal source as our local oscillator. 
Again, we need to change this to floating because it's not, it's not, uh, there's no imaginary numbers. We're going to have a fixed frequency of the local oscillator of 1000 hertz. So far, by the way, this is the same as an input to a conventional radio, not just, uh, not just an SDR. And the output from the local oscillator, we're going to take to the input of the mixer. We see it's all black in here, that should be right. It's all black in here, that should be right. Uh, I'm still slightly concerned that we're red in there. I'm just trying to see why. Uh, I'm happy with those frequencies. Oh, I'm not happy with that frequency. That should be 1100. Aha, here we go. Um, so we're going to have an output there, which is going to be uh, the sum and the difference. So in this case, with this input signal at 1.1 kilohertz and this signal at 1 kilohertz, we will have a signal of 2.1 kilohertz and a signal of 100 hertz. So we want to put next a low pass filter to get rid of the high frequency component. So we'll search for a low pass filter and we'll add them in there. Again, change it to a floating uh, decimation. Gain of 1, that's fine. We'll give it a range of 150 and 5. I think we're fairly happy there. Decimation 1, floating 155. Yes, I'm happy with that. So we're going to take our signal into the low pass filter. And then we want to see what we've got. Uh, so we're going to hang an oscilloscope on the end of this. And we know we have a slider here which will allow us to control the radio signal coming in. And we should see what we get out. So we're going to add uh, an oscilloscope which in, in GNU language is called a uh, uh, time sink. GUI time sink. Right, we'll make some changes here. Again, it's floating. We need some more samples. We'll make it 4096. We don't want a grid. We don't want auto scaling. We'll make it go from uh, minus two to plus two. And like any scope, there's a triggering mechanism and we're going to make the triggering automatic and it is positive and I'm happy with that. And we're going to take the output from the low pass filter into the time sink. Everything is black. Cross my fingers. Everything should be fine. I'll push the play button. Give it a few moments to configure. If this is an old computer. <clears throat> Talk amongst yourselves a moment. Right. See the output signal uh, of uh, 1100 hertz. If we move closer and closer to zero, so frequency is coming down and down and down and down and down and down and down. Eventually we'll get to a point where there is no signal at all. Where we're putting a thousand hertz from the mixer and a thousand hertz from the radio signal and we don't have anything coming out. Uh, we see some pattern there, it's just a leftover because of um, Break that now. I'm going to start it again. <clears throat> so what we're effectively doing is imagining that we're turning the uh, turning the knob down and down and down, going lower and lower in frequency. Come on, don't make me look stupid in front of the people. <clears throat> 